Hello, and welcome back to another Let's Play on Total War Shogun 2, Fall of the Samurai. This is a campaign, or challenge, I suppose, that has been requested an awful lot on my channel. Possibly one of the most requested things, I, I think. Um, I should also say this Let's Play will be sponsored, or is sponsored, by my Daimyo patron, Steve. So thank you very much, Steve, for being such a fantastic supporter for such a long time, dude. Um, the traditional units only challenge, which I'll be playing or doing with the Aizu, which is kind of ironic because the Aizu have quite a few unique units, which I would love to actually taste and try, but that's not going to happen because they're gun units, unfortunately. There's no really good clan other than the Aizu to do this with. I mean, obviously you could do it with many other clans, but the Aizu have some pretty good things for it, such as tradition, which gives them plus one to the experience of traditional units. Um, Bushido, which gives them minus 10% to the recruitment cost of traditional units. Uh, the rest is not particularly relevant, but still. Minus 10% to the cost of constructing castles from defense, and minus 10% to the cost of Shinsungumi actions from discipline. Their initial challenge is apparently hard. I've never tried the Aizu before. I mean, to be fair, I, I, this is something I've mentioned before, but my experience of the Fall of the Samurai is still fairly limited, honestly. Um, that said, I am doing a Republican legendary campaign with the Obama right now uh, as well. But anyway, before we quickly jump in, or before we jump into this, I want to quickly go over uh, some of the other options that I had. Uh, for example, I mean, obviously any of the Shogunate clans would make sense, because you know you're going traditional units, go Shogunate, right? But honestly, some of the better options lie in the Imperial Clans. The Choshu, for example, have a plus free charge bonus uh, to the charge bonus of all units, which is pretty good. Nothing else really there. I mean, cost reduction for modern military buildings units is not particularly useful. But um, And the Sioux also have a plus one to unit melee defense. Both of those things are actually pretty good, um, because obviously the Aizu experience, that's something you're going to get anyway. So eventually you're going to get the 9 experience, and you don't have that plus free charge bonus or plus one... Uh, melee defense, but I think the Aizu just make the most sense. Uh, as I said, I won't be allowing myself to use their unique units, which is kind of a shame, because I do kind of want to try them. Um, basically, traditional units, the only rule it will be is only use the units that come from the uh, traditional dojo. Um, I would, I could allow myself to use the, the first uh, gun unit they have because that one comes from the strongholds, which means it's not it's not a modern unit necessarily. Uh, but I'm not gonna I'm just gonna ban those as well because why why the fuck not? If we're gonna go traditional only, then traditional only. I, I could allow myself to use wooden cannons. I think that would be fair because that's fairly traditional. Um, as I'm also allowing myself to use Machlokachi because they also come from the um, the traditional dojo. Plus they are a Machlok unit. Machloks were used in the Sengoku Jidai, so we can we can count those as traditional. Um, wooden cannons have count as those as well. Don't think I'll actually use them, but you know. Um, and then there's also the Shinzengumi Police Force, which I will also allowing myself to use because it is a traditional unit. Uh, you know, it's a melee unit, traditional unit, but it, it's it's also got a gun. Uh, except it's, I don't think it's a matchlock, but still, I think I'm allowing myself to use that one too. Anyway, that was, that intro took too long. I'm sorry about that. Let's uh, jump into it. After the Sengoku Jidai, peace reigned for 200 years. In Kyoto, the emperor continued as divine head of state. But real power was held by the Tokugawa shogunate. For two centuries, they ruled with absolute authority. Japan prospered. The people were content. In 1853, American warships changed everything. The Shogun welcomed the West and signed the Treaty of Peace and Amity. The gates to Japan were open. Trade was established, but the agreements favored the Western powers. The economy faltered, and the people suffered. In 1863, the emperor overruled the shogun. An imperial decree 
order the expulsion of all Western powers. Ten years of diplomacy cast into the sea. Western powers gave the answer. To run out the gun. On my command, fire. The Emperor brought death to his people. The Imperialists would pay for their misguided actions. Order had to be restored. To strengthen our position, the Shogun allied with the French. We will study their ways and discover their secrets. Only then can we destroy the fools around the Emperor and return honor to Japan. The Shogun must be victorious. Ai's domain. Loyal to the Tokugawa Shogunate for centuries. Our family was granted these lands and the clan name of Matsudaira in honor of our service. Now, the Shogun is under threat from those who seek to put power into the Emperor's hands. This cannot be allowed to happen. Our first priority should be to strengthen relations with those still loyal to the Shogun. His seat of power in Edo is close. But there are many lords in neighboring domains who do not share his vision. These seditious elements must be eliminated. Their lands taken for the good of our own domain. Finally, if we are to prevent our misguided foes from taking power, Edo and Kyoto must not fall into imperial hands. When full-scale war between shogunate and imperial forces finally comes, the people of Ais will be there, defending Japan's best interests in the face of adversity. For the Shogun! Alright, I actually wonder if uh, if it is Ais or if I if, if Aizu is fine. I guess I'll 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 stick to Ais for now, because that's obviously more fun to say. Um Right, anyway, increase our clan's development level. We get inspired in their first great the note. Um so I should probably uh, go over the final, like, the, the, the full-on rules, I suppose. Besides what I said about the units, obviously. Uh, I could technically ban, like, foreign veterans or something like that, but I'm not going to do that. They're not a unit, they're an agent. Same goes for ships. If I were to ban all ships, I believe there wouldn't be anything left. Uh, because there, I, don't, I don't think there are any non-modern ships. I am pretty sure even the gunboat's modern, so... Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'll, I'll let myself use any ship that I want. Because I think that makes sense. That said, I'll probably disco or, um, scupper these ones as soon as I... as it, Well, right away, basically. Anyway, Aiz uh, is not particularly... Or Fukushima, sorry, I should say. is not a particularly great province for uh, recruiting or anything. Uh, we probably want to do that in either... Is it Iwate that has a blacksmith? No, it's Ugo in Follow the Summer, isn't it? Yeah, Ugo's got a blacksmith, and this place got the um, Buddhist Shrine, which I believe gives charge bonus. Yeah, it does. So that could actually be a legitimate choice as well. It certainly will be for our melee units, which will have to me uh, consist of Yariki, and that's it. Um, so yeah, I, I, I kind of want to try the White Tiger Force, because honestly, they're such a strong early game unit compared to the shitty Levy Infantry. 
I don't give a shit what you guys say about, oh, Levy Infantry, put it... I, sorry, this is in, in relation to my top five worst units on Father Samurai, where I put Levy Infantry and a lot of people seem to disagree. Put him in the town! It's fucking put Spirly in it, Levy in the town. Why would you put your men on a wall while they get shot by guns? If you can just put them behind the wall and then they kill the people who have guns and are worse in melee than these guys. Anyway... Um, so yeah, I can't I can't recruit them. I'm gonna start spamming them immediately though. Starting with our, our units right now, we actually don't have any that I wouldn't allow myself to use because again, the Shinzo gonna be police force. Even though they are a rifle armed unit, they're still a samurai infantry. I'm gonna allow myself to use them. I don't actually know if it says anything about what kind of uh, gun they use. I don't think they use um, matchlocks, which would be like it, if they did, then that would be even more logical. Like oh, I can definitely let myself use these guys because. They have uh, matchlocks. I don't see the word matchlock in there any anywhere, though. So I'm pretty sure they just have an actual gun. But I'm still going to let myself use them. Because I think it makes sense. Matchlock Kachi, for sure, I will let myself use. Um, this needs to get the fuck out of here. Like, who? no one wants that shit. Come on now. Um, besides that, I, I think I do want to upgrade the town. don't know if I want to do it right away. I do want to start recruiting units. Uh, I want to build a traditional dojo and possibly some other stuff, but this isn't really going to be a recruitment province, so I guess for now I'm not going to bother too much. Hitachi just has that. We have another in Sagami. There's a blacksmith as well, but that's uh, Edo owned right now, I believe, so I don't know if we want to go down there. We are at war with the Utsunomiya in, uh, in Shimotsuke here, but I don't know if we're going to be going to after them immediately, because it by the time we get there, four turn well, free if I want to move my general out, but they'll probably have um, at least double my army size. So I don't know if that's really a particularly smart idea. That said, I will gather up all my troops in the field. Don't need to have anyone here, so that's fine. If we recruit some Yari Kachi or something, then I'm sure we'll be okay. Diplomacy wise, probably have a look at that. The Mito hate me because they're. No, they're not allied. Different allegiance. Oh, they're Imperial. That makes sense. But they're not allied to these guys, but they will be soon, I seem to recall. So I don't think they're... Oh, they actually do want trade for the moment. So, I'll take that. Well, that was uh, not exactly what I meant to do. Actually, let's see. Will you pay me one bitch Goku? You will pay me a bitch Goku. Well, let's see what else we got. 100 is also possible. I meant to do 250, but... Alright, well, they won't do 240, so that explains... Oh my god, I'm... What is happening to me right now? Sorry about this. I don't know what's going on. Um, 150. Alright, let's do that. What a fantastic amount of money we got from that. Oh, and that's made us meet a whole bunch of other clans. So Sendai, you guys definitely want to trade. I'm not surprised about that. I can't type right now. We do 150? Because that was what I meant to do. No, you want to do 150. Will you pay me bitch Goku? You will. What about 100 Goku? No. Oh, 50 Goku. God, these are such small amounts that follow Samurai 2. Alright, well, one bitch Goku it is, I suppose. Thanks. I think they would also take an alliance. They would, but I don't know if I want to do that. They are allied with the Morioka, who are these people here. I seem to recall if you play as a Sendai, they always end up betraying you. Um, that's something that happens in Fall of Summer anyway. If I remember my advice from previous videos, don't trust anyone in this game. Alright, finally, the Yonazawa. Do you want to trade? You do not. Sometimes. Should we take an alliance? Sometimes. Maybe. See, so yeah, we could ally the Sendai to secure our northern border, but honestly, I think I'll just murder them instead. I don't know what they're going to do exactly, but they could be a logical first target. Because the, the same goes for these guys. If they want to come up this way and attack Fukushima, by the time they get there, we're going to have a million units ready. Even if they're trash units, that doesn't matter because everything's trash right now. So... Um, yeah, I don't think we really make a choice right now. We can't move anywhere at the moment anyway. Clan development. What are we going to go for here? Go for the happiness. Seems a bit useless. Banzai is probably, well, useless right now. Actually, no, hold on. Don't you guys get Banzai? You do, actually. So that would actually do something for this unit. We also get a Katana Kachi. Probably going to get rid of this unit very, very soon. But for the moment, we need anything we can get. Um, yeah, Banzai actually does something. Unit replenishment is okay, of course. Arms deals... Again, we're not allowed to recruit any of these units. Is there actually anything in here that I would allow myself to recruit? And uh, it will charge bonus for all units. We definitely want that. I was going to say, is there any point going down this tree? Uh, but there is. Don't care about any of this, though. Actually, no, they don't get new fire. They don't get line fire either, the Shinsugumi Police Force. So, yeah, there's nothing here except for the 8 charge bonus to all units here that we want. So, besides that, we can just let this entire tree go. Um, we probably want to go ship stuff. 
Shinobi. I don't think I'll be recruiting any Kishon Ninja. I can almost assure you that. Uh, I think we're going to go for Shi first. Oh, also that will allow us to recruit Machirakachi, which I won't be recruiting. I can assure you that much too. Clan management, what are we looking at actually for our daimyo? 18 year old man, Matsudaira Katamori, who's got literally no family members whatsoever. We got another son, uh, sorry, not son, a regular general. He's one year older. Yamakawa Hirosh Hiroshi, who also has no traits and anything whatsoever. Great, fucking brilliant family tree here. Right, our, uh, the rest of our money. Do we want anything else here? Uh, I don't remember. Hold on. Do you need to. Training camp. Do you need to unlock anything for that? You need domain and the realm, which is in the left side, I believe. Here somewhere. No. Yes? Yeah, that one right there. Okay. So we need to get down there in order to get the training camp. So there's no point upgrading this really right now. If we, Again, I could build a the wooden cannons from that building, but I don't think I really care too much about that. Uh, let's upgrade our ports. Let's upgrade our farm. I'll leave it at that. Two grand left over, we can start spamming out units. Right, ships. You guys should probably get the hell out of here. I could bombard Miyagi if we do decide to go that way. Uh, I just don't... I don't know. I don't think it's worth keeping them around right now. Let's get you the hell out of here. Get the... Alright, now we're up 1100 Koku a turn. It's a little bit more positive. I encountered all of the clans in the world, apparently. Um... Alright, I think we're good. Let's end that. She is... The downside of going for a traditional dojo early, though, is that we will immediately get our, uh, a minus one uh, modernization, which isn't necessarily that good. Because I do, I, despite this being a traditional unit only, I do want to modernize as fast as humanly possible, probably. As I tend to want to do anyway. Um, at least the level 2. Level 2 is the big one, because yeah, we do get the main in the realm. We do get that plus 8 charge bonus. The rest is all, you know, is useful, but... I mean, it's, there's a lot of good shit in here as well, of course, but I, I, I think I care most about, about getting to level 2. Once you get to level 2, then there's so much shit to do anyway. You don't really worry about getting to level 3 as fast as possible, but level 2 is a big one. So I do kind of want to modernize. Uh, so that... Would that mean that I still build a traditional dojo, or do I hold off on that and build something else instead? Uh, I Oh, also, I completely forgot to move this guy last turn. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? Uh, what are you going to do? I could explore. I think we'll just shove you in the army now. There's still some discipline in there. I think it actually increases melee defense, so that's good regardless. Um, could Should we go for money instead? The inn will then branch into the gambling den. Which will also reduce modernization, I believe. So we don't really want to go for that one either. Cottage industry is good money and modernization. This will probably be a money-making province with some fertile soil as well, Fukushima. So I think that could be the one, actually. We can handle happiness here, I imagine. Uh, no, we can't. We have to keep a unit here. But I think I'm okay with that. For that cottage industry. Um... It feels dirty not going for this, because I really would like the Gariki and the Arikachi too. It definitely feels dirty. Um, I don't know, dude. Dude, I don't know. It, it just doesn't it doesn't feel right. But then if we're gonna take Uzin, we want we want to build it there anyway. So yeah, let's just let's just uh, let's go college industry. Fuck it. I think I should probably move over here. If we get attacked by these guys, then maybe I'll counter. I could also declare war on the Sendai to make them come towards me. But they are allied right now, so I'd rather wait and see if that somehow changes the Kubota they're at war with. They're not actually currently at war with their western the people here, the Yonezawa. Interesting. Uh, Alright. Sounds good. So yeah, I kind of went for the one thing I did not expect to go for at all. Um, fuck, should we capture Shimotsuke? Okay, well, I mean, it happened at some point, so that's fine. Do we go on the offensive right now? They just moved out, which means our army's up here somewhere. They could be moving through here. They might be on their way here to go to Ugo. I could get there in 
three turns if I, move, if I move right now, but I'd have to clear out random right now. If I sit right here, I wonder if I could still reach in two turns after that. It looks like I might just be out of range. I'd probably end up, like, here. <sighs> nah, I think I'd reach. Yeah, let's try that. Let's just put our shit right here, as far as possible, without doing that. It's weird, it's not letting me... Sit. I want to be as close as possible. That it's not letting me down. I guess that's what we're gonna have to do deal with. Uh, I'll still have you guys chasing, and I'll still recruit more because we're not gonna get the traditional dojo, so we're not gonna get anything better than this. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking at diplomacy. I suppose that yeah, that's a good reason to do it. I don't want to pay you any money. One. Proper response. They will pay me, pay me a bitch, Goku. We got one bitch already. Looks like we're gonna get another bitch right now. Oh no, they'll pay me more than... Okay, no bitch, Goku, for you. Just out of curiosity. Wow, they actually would... I do not wish to listen they are allied now, which means they don't actually want to. See, they always ally on turn one. I knew that happened, because of the... 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 Who the fuck are down here again? The Josiah campaign that I did ages ago. They always... This always happens. Um, or this always happens, I should say. So if I were to go, if I were to peace out with them right now and then declare war on them again, I'd also go to war with these guys, which is not something I really want to do. So I'm going to avoid that and just, um, stick to this one war. Right. Next turn we declare war on the Sendai. And then hope that their army isn't anywhere near here, because it, we don't know. It looks like it's all gathering up there, but they could just be gathering literally right here, and I wouldn't see it, so. Send my, um, guy up there. You know, my guy. This dude. But, I don't, I don't know, maybe. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We can get there next turn, so that is still working out just fine. Are uh, you're allied, though, I did say that. You are indeed. There is one way to avoid it. But it's not going to work, nor am I interested. I would have to ally with these guys. And then be like, yo, I'll join your war against the Sendai. But I, w I wouldn't do it, but they won't either. So that's kind of, you know. Uh, Nagaoka, I'm not going to call you in that. I don't want to lose my ally to something like that. I'm going to take attrition. That's something I'd really thought about. Well, they're not right there. I'll move you guys over, because I need to get units here ASAP. Destination reached. Destination reached. Alright, well, war it is. We can get there next turn, I'll have to probably... Oh, they're upgrading the fortress as well, that's... Actually, no, I'll take that. I mean, it's gonna... It means the fight's gonna be slightly more difficult, but... <laughs> Alright, I'm not surprised about that. They also moved out any units they had just now. Um, I probably could make them my vassal right now, but easy vassal turn one or not well, turn one, but actually you probably could get a mm, turn two maybe. But oh, there is—is is that my enemy? My enemy. Uh, this does nothing for us, so we will go into something else. I guess we get the clan wide happiness because that'll fix my problem of happiness that I will have soon. Let's go down there. Spring. Oh, actually that'll fix my happiness too. Up until when I get that, so that works out. Perfectly. We have an army coming now. A bunch of shit. Uh, I can recruit two more units, and then I'll be out of money. Let's hold off on that for now. Let's not move anything until we take this town. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Alright, well, I like to fight the first battle, but this isn't really... This, I don't like this, so... I, just thought it was all done. I lost a lot of men in this unit, by the way, from... that was This was already 176. That was from uh, the attrition we took. I think it was anyway. Yeah, we lost no one there. We just had 176 from one turn of attrition. It's pretty rough. Um, oh yeah, this place is going to be super unhappy for a while. Oh man, 10 grand would be nice, but I'm not going to do that. Um, do I want these two units? I don't know what they are. Can you find out for me? That would be possibly decent. Oh, just going to check out the first levy of machine. I'm not allowed to have those anyway, so let's not do that. Um... Yeah, Senna's gonna be unhappy, the town is gonna be happy for a, unhappy for a while. Because it is a capital. Minus 14, my goodness. Gotten in here. That, I think, is okay 
for now. We'll upgrade this town at some point anyway. Because this is also going to be a money maker just because of the fertile soil. Soil! I've soiled the... Oh, no, I'm not. I've not. Um, unfortunately, now I don't have enough money anymore to recruit two units. Very unfortunate. But alright. Uh, obviously can't afford any of this as a fighter. Do I send you guys back? Is the real question. There's a total of 10 units coming. I have a total of 4 units right now. Uh, and I'll have... I could recruit one more. Could shove those two in there and then we have 5, 7 units. Yeah, I mean, that'll be alright. I'll send these ones over for sure. I could possibly recruit more after this turn anyway. Or I could save my money. At to your service. Oh, that didn't work. Sad times. Not too bad. Oh, this received. Alright, so they survived. That's good. You are going to check out here because I guess this will be our next target. I was kind of hoping to go this way, but... Ooh, they've... No, they're not going to go anywhere. They're just going to sit there. Yeah, we'll, we'll make this our next target and then them. And then possibly take out the... Matsume? Is that their name? I think it is. Possibly go up there, take all our sh Yeah. We'll see. I, it doesn't make sense to take all the northern parts first, I think, of the map, because those are the uh, some of the richer towns in the game. Uh, I guess we'll um, take some of your money. Oh no. Stewards. No, bitch Goku from him, he's not willing to be my bitch, even though I just took out their, their enemy. Enemy. Oh well. Do I recruit a unit? I think I do. I think that's definitely kind of necessary. They could easily, if I decide, well I'm, I'm gonna have to sit here for a while, but if I decide to move out of here, they could just keep going and just go to Miyagi, so I'll probably have to sit there regardless. I also should have considered moving one of my generals back, but it's too late now, plus I don't think I had the movement anyway. Oh, they've gone back, never mind. And the Morioka won peace. Brave men. It's time to discuss an end to the fighting. I could make you my vassal, which is an easy honor early on, but I'm not really that interested in the honor at the moment. Uh, I don't know. I definitely want to take the town to the west. I wouldn't mind letting these guys be for a while, but I'd have to wait at least 20 turns before I'm allowed to declare war on them again. Wait, no, it's ten... Is it ten turns? It's ten turns, and then... I'm not sure. I think it is only ten, actually. Um, although, if I make them a vassal, I definitely... I just can't declare war on them, so I... I don't know. I want to go west. Are these guys going to die to the Kubota? Um, I don't know. I definitely don't want them to be my vassal. Unless they die. In which case, I do want them to be my vassal. But if they don't die, then I'm just going to have this stupid vassal here the whole time, which is going to ruin me. Ruin me! Well, I could betray them eventually, of course, and just lose the honor that I gained from it, which means I come out in a net zero, but it's... I don't know. Uh, I don't... I don't know. I wouldn't mind the trade right now. Like, honestly, we need money. So I think, you know, for the trade alone, it's not a bad idea. I don't really want to go out and kill them right now. Their town is much further away as well. Fuck it, let's do it. Do I vassalize them as well? Assuming that they'll die at some point. I think... I think no, actually, no. Let's not do that. Fuck the vassal. I just want the trade. Alright, come and kill me. Or, you know, just walk around my town or something. Weird. I might fight that battle just because we haven't fought one yet. It'd be kind of silly, but... Eh, Shinzo can be police force and action is always fun. Uh, do I run someone back? We have to be this this dude to lead the forces here. Weakening my army uh, to some degree, honestly. I don't know. Also, one thing I, uh, I hadn't really considered yet. Do I allow myself to use Saber Cavalry? I, I will not, because I feel like they are a modern unit. Also, they've come from the modern recruitment building. But technically, they're still a melee cavalry. It's just that they use Sabers, which I guess aren't particularly <laughs> traditional um, sword, and also, I mean, that could also could also be said for the guns that the Shinzo Gami Police Force use, so, I don't know, it's a bit of an iffy subject, I suppose, but 
And let's make up our own rules, why not? Mm -hmm. I think you guys are gonna have to sit here. I could send out some. Uh, either way, let's do this. A little disappointed about them running away, but oh well. Really? I can't even fucking... Whatever, dude. Do we fight this? Nah, let's not. Let's not waste our time. Let's not waste our time! Alright, there's our first level up. For Mr. Man. We want... Yeah, we want this one. Actually, I need to think about this now, because is there any... There's, there's definitely reasons to go in different directions now. I believe there's a charge bonus somewhere. Uh, fleets, that's fucking useless. I definitely want this one. I know that. Running speed is really useful too. So, okay, now we want this one, the charge bonus. We don't care about this that much. I mean, it's still not terrible. Again, if we're using the Shinsugami Police Force, which is uh, definitely a unit I'll be using uh, a lot. Um, this is good if we're staying traditional, but otherwise it's pretty meh. We... Nah, morale's more useful, but nah. That's meh. Let's see what else we got. See, this is again Shinsugami Police Force, otherwise nothing. This is probably better but only one armor really the rest is not particularly great morale again is it's better but eh. stand and fight probably really useful but the thing is it's traditional generals only at some point we're not going to be traditional anymore like even though i'm going for traditional only units only it's still you know anyway point is i still want to go for this first um yeah, I'm still going to modernize, you know, that's not really something you can avoid that much anyway. Oh my god, could I have gotten anything worse than these two options? I guess we'll get a, a Velocipede. Whatever the heck that might be. Because this is entirely fucking useless. Alright, let's go back into Miyagi. Can we actually reach with the army minus you? No. No, we certainly can't. I might want to let this place rebel on purpose, actually. Right, so I... I'm uh, friendly with you, so let's just... Uh, let's pop you into Morioka. Or Miyagi, sorry, for now. You can keep coming. And I guess I'll... Um, I'm gonna shove these three units over there, too. We can recruit more. I might save my money for the moment. Nah, we we'll should recruit more units. Just recruit them over here now. Should get you two. Yeah, for sure. Let's recruit one-on-one. -on -one. Why not? Why not, I ask you? Do you still want peace or no? No, it's over now. But it's over now. Uh, okay. I think it's about time we... What else we do right here, by the way? Just this. The harbor is... The... No, that's the first level. Yeah, they didn't upgrade any of that. Okay. It's about time we uh, end this episode, I reckon. I reckon we end this episode right here, right now. Sorry. I know. I think I might actually let it rebel. It'll give us a good battle, and it'll make the town much happier, which means we can get out of here. Because otherwise, I mean, this is going to take a while to make this happy. Uh, well, not that long, but yeah, basically six turns. This, this is going to go away. That's going to appear. But still, six turns or so. Um... Which I am far too lazy to wait for. So we're going to probably let it rebel next turn. And then we'll murder the rebellion. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.